Hello and welcome to News Click. A lot has been happening in banking sector recently. Looks like the ghosts of demonetization have come back to haunt the country again. There are reports of shortage of cash in many many states in this country, Andhra Pradesh, Haryana, Bihar and many other places. As well as that, there are other crises in the banking sector. For past two years, there has been a great deal of discussion that the banking crisis is mainly a public sector problem, that public sector banks are, at, are the root cause of this crisis, because of which the public sector banks need to be privatized. But now that the ICICI Bank and Axis Bank have also come out with a problem of conflict of interest, it's interesting to see what the uh, bank, bank employees think of this. So for this, we have with us here uh, CH Venkta Chalam of AIBA. Hello, sir. Uh, welcome to News Click. Uh, how are you? I'm good, sir. So let us begin with the the problem of this cash again, because we all of us have thought that we have those days behind us when we had to queue up in ATMs for this cash. Now it's one and a half years since the demonetization happened. So why 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 this problem has come back again? No, this government has a knack of doing things wrongly from the beginning. Now again, we have the cash crunch. Uh, banks are short of cash. In ATM, there is no cash. In branches, there is no cash. Customers are coming and shouting. Uh, uh, and they are rightly putting a question. When I don't have enough money in my account, then you impose a penalty or collecting charges. When I have money, but you don't have money to give me, why should I not uh, uh, penal charge from you to the extent it has come? But the point is that uh, when the demonetization took place, we found 500,000. There were almost 80% of the total uh, quantum of uh, currency notes available. They were demonetized. While replacing that, they have now replaced it with more number of smaller denomination notes, say 50, 100, uh, say 200. But they brought 2,000. That itself is most ridiculous, illogical, irrational, and it was not proper. Uh, because the thousand were demonetized just to attack the hoarding of cash. And now you bring in two thousand, that means you want to hoard more. That means you want to uh, politically uh, remove some people who are hoarding and you want to allow your own people to hoard money. That's why two thousand has come. And that is creating problem now. For example, the Reserve Bank, they are responsible for this uh, M3, money in circulation. After the total quantum that they designed, looking to price, inflation, uh, demand, supply, etc. And they, uh, some X quantum of money has to be in supply. Out of that, we find that nearly 70%, 75% are in the 2000. And that is getting vanished. The moment 2000 comes immediately from market, from bank, it is vanishing. So we can understand who is uh, doing that. So the result is that smaller denominations, which are very much required, they are in less quantity. And so there is more demand, and uh, we are not able to make up. But the Reserve Bank says on paper I have uh, printed up to M3. What is required I have pr printed. But they are printing more of the 2000. So and that is going away from the circulation. So that is creating a scarcity. So Second, let, me, let me interrupt you here to be clear. Yeah, so you are, you are saying that the Reserve Bank is actually facilitating the hoarding of this black money by printing a lot of 2000 rupee notes. And whereas make uh, you know, causing inconvenience to most of the common people by creating a shortage of this short denomination notes. Exactly. You see, you see the Reserve Bank has become now just an extension counter, mouthpiece of the government. Government is the culprit. Government wanted to facilitate their own people to hold cash, so they have brought this 2000 now. So the Reserve Bank is just taking the its master's voice, that's all. Government is responsible, you are right. It is to help somebody. 2,000 notes and they are doing that and that's why shortage. Is there a deliberate policy of creating a shortage because initially at least at the at, in the during the process of demonetization the Prime Minister has said that everybody has to shift away from cash to digital transactions. So is it one of the reasons why government and the RBI are deliberately uh, creating a shortage of cash so that people can shift into or will shift into digital transactions? Yeah, you got it right. That's exactly the agenda. By creating the scarcity, people will be compelled to move to digital banking. So that's what they are trying to do. But in India, digital banking is okay, but that will come later. Today, predominantly, it is cash-oriented uh, transaction. So overnight, you can't switch. Where is the technology for the entire country, rural area, etc., even in urban for the poor people, 
that much of banking technology is not available for them to totally switch over to digital. But that is also one of the reasons. But I feel there is another thing behind it for the reason that you know this FRDI bill. The government has brought the bill unwarrantedly. It is not required for India. Because of that bail-in clause in the FRDI bill, and now people are getting afraid that, now, now, see, one party is holding the money, by rich people, all the black money people, that is 2000. Even the small, ordinary people, middle class people, they are afraid of this bail-in clause. Suppose the government and this government people think uh, they can do anything right or wrong. So they are afraid. FRDI bill uh, will, uh, I mean, they will use my money to save the banks. And there are a lot of problems with banks. They perceive for this uh, Punjab National Bank fraud, ICC Bank fraud, Nira Modi, Rotomac, uh, Videocon, one by one. And so the middle class also, uh, they, they're withdrawing the money and keeping it idle because tomorrow something may happen to the banks. So that means Reserve Bank on paper, they have this uh, total money in circulation. Actually, so much money is not in circulation. Out of the money printed, bulk goes in 2000 for holding. Remaining some money is also held up as yes, idle cash by the middle class thinking that something will happen. They are apprehending that FRDI bill will come so better to keep some money. There seem to be uh, like a, a, a good deal of substance in what you are saying because according to newspaper report that I have read recently, the velocity of circulation has, of money has gone down. That means the money is changing hands less number of times, which means that people are actually holding the money. Probably, as you said, as because they are scared of the FRDI bill. Do you see any other evidence in support of this? Is there any reduction in deposits or, or, the, or the fact that people are withdrawing their deposits? Yeah, 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 because of FRDI. Number one, you are right, velocity should be at least uh, 17 to 20 times the money should circulate again and again. It has drastically come down now. That, that means money circulation has uh, shrunk. That is not good for the country. We are neither we are not digital, so naturally cash has to be there. See, November 2016 is a demonetization. Now 16, 17 months are over. Still, many of the ATMs are not recalibrated. Recalibration is very important because now new notes have come, new types of new designs of hundred, new types of tens, new types of fifties, new types of two hundred, and the old ATMs cannot hold them. So this is also creating another problem, compounding to the mess. So this government is expert in creating mess in banking department. With the result, people are losing faith. One side frauds, another side these uh, bad loans are going on. Other side you are threatening the people with the FRDI bill. Now there is no cash. So what are they up to? Are they deliberately trying to kill our banks? Sir, uh, now shifting to the other issue of uh the NPA crisis itself or apart from NPA crisis also various kind of scams as you said of Nira Modi, ICICI Bank, Axis Bank have been uh, you know have come out in the open. So at least till few before till before the ICICI Bank uh, the scam came up everybody was saying that it's the public sector banks that are the, at the root of all the banking sector crisis so the the solution is privatization of the public sector banks. But now that ICICI bank scam has been exposed where the CEO Chanda Kochar herself has been found to have conflict of interest where loan has been given to an entity which is controlled by her husband which is against the rules or practices of banking, a good banking practice. So what do you think is a solution when the crisis is all pervasive including public and private sector? Naturally by banking there is a total economic crisis. With the advent of liberalization and the decontrol and privatization, the so-called banking or economic reforms, it's only an automatic uh, child that is uh, to be born only. So it was only expected. But coming to the banks, as you said, so far uh, they have been targeting the public sector banks. It is inefficient. Service is not good. Their profit is not okay. Then the lending policy is not okay. Frauds are taking place. Scam is there. NPA, all types of targeted charges, allegations. And now it, it is pro We have been saying it is not so that public sector bank, because we are dealing with uh, the quant total so much of quantum of banking business, naturally the frauds are more or problems are more. We are dealing uh, much more than what they do. But now, as you said, ICIC Bank has in one stroke, Axis Bank and ICIC Bank, they expose this myth that private banking is inefficient. In fact, the country knows, unfortunately, uh, people's memory is so poor. Before 1947, so many banks collapsed. After 1947, private banks collapsed. 
In fact, the Section 45 to the Banking Companies Act came only because of repeated bank failures in Kerala, in Bengal, in many other places. And so from the All India Bank Employees Association, our then John Satri Prabhakar was also a member of parliament. He raised the issue. So this amendment was made in future. Private banks, even if they collapse, then it will not be uh, closed. It will be met with somebody else. And similarly, now, do they have any moral right to talk of uh, privatization of banks? These 12 accounts, which have now gone to this uh, NCLT for insolvency, who are the people? All are private sector people, private giants, corporate people. They are not public sector. Before NCLT, not a single public sector company has gone. All the things, first 12, another 30, another 40, now about 770 accounts have gone before the uh, National Company Law Tribunal for insolvency. All are private companies. And now, it's very glaring. That is, it, it's a scam, it's a fraud, it's, it's, it's cheating. ICICI Bank has given to Videocon because it, it is all established that Deepak Kochar is a beneficiary. So you give a loan uh, through the bank and your own family gets a benefit through the trust or whatever. So absolutely, the government should be very clear now. The time is right to privatize ICICI Bank, Access Bank and all these uh, private banks at all. There's no need. Public sector alone can be the real engine uh, driving force behind taking the country to uh, economic uh, progress and development in our country. Whether private banks are given for education loan, whether private banks are given for agriculture loan, whatever rural loan they are giving, it's all buying already the agriculture loan uh, done by the public sector banks. They don't do all those things. Everything is done by us. Rural branches, we are opening. Private banks, they don't do anything. And now, they, they were all being glorified. Now the balloon is punctured, everything has come to know. If you go into uh, further detail, some more private banks will be in the scene. So uh, it, 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 uh, that's why I'm saying it is high time that public sector should be strengthened, more branches must be open, more loans on congenial terms should be given to the poor people to take the country forward. All private banks, especially to begin with, ICICI Bank and Access Bank should be immediately nationalized in country center. They are dealing with 9 lakh crores of people's money. It is not safe now any longer. That means they will misuse nepotism, favoritism to benefit themselves. Sir, uh, it, it, apart from what you are saying, uh, there was an interesting pamphlet that I have read recently, which has been produced by AIBA, your own organization that these so-called private sector banks actually are not Indian private, se private sector banks. For example, you said that ICICI Bank is majority foreign uh, shareholder bank. So that means that any profit that these private sector banks make. 73% ICI is foreign capital. So if it is 73% owned by foreign capital, it obviously means that profits are going to foreign companies. So even these private, se private sector banks, when they are making profits, they are not coming to in, in any way to Indian uh, pockets. So yeah, yeah, very, very, very true. There are two things. Number one, they are rich, and the Reserve Bank is consciously permitting more and more FDI. Only thing, it is not held by one group, so there is no fund owner. But it is spread out, but still nearly 70, 75, it is less than 76 up to the maximum. And though so naturally the foreign content is more, and very rightly observed, whatever dividend they are declaring, it is all going to the foreign owners. So our money is going out. We, our people are taking loans, credit card, retail, whatever, and that interest is the profit. And the revenue is going out of the country, number one. Number two, is it that private bank there is no bad loan? 45,000 crores is the NPA in ICIC bank, which is more than the NPA of 16 government banks. So how is it that they are better in uh, giving loan? Access bank, all banks are having this more than 120,000 crores in the bad loan, only in the private bank, including the Bandhan Bank, recent one. All this bank, Bandhan Bank is a new one. How come that there is bad loan? So you, you can't blame. Public sector banks are the Kamadenu, public sector banks are the Nilakanta Mahadev swallowing all the poison of the corporate people. They are defaulters, they are cheating. And then ultimately they are blaming public sector banks and they want to take over their banks. No way, no way. It is We are dealing with 110 lakh crores of people's money. It's all precious savings. We have to safeguard the banking. 
We have to save God, publish it our banks and people's money. And this one instance is enough that private banks are not efficient in our country. All along we know, and this is one more example, and that's why government must take a decision. Let us see what this government will do, otherwise we will intensify our campaign. We have decided in May, June, July. 19th July will be the uh, golden jewelry, the 50th year of the bank nationalization. There will be more and more strike, which shall come from the government. It's not possible that this will uh, continue like this. They will take all the benefit of public sector banks. Again, uh, only create problem. They will not repay the loan, put the banks into trouble. Banks are in uh, losses and private banks are escaping. This must be reversed. We shall do that. The ABA we have planned. We are going to have a big campaign on that. So is one of AIBA's demand that these uh, uh, private, se private sector banks which are in trouble, they should be nationalized? Yes, very much, very much. All foreign banks, all foreign banks and private banks in our country must be nationalized. That is our demand. And now immediately, immediately you know these two culprits, ICIC Bank and Axis Bank, they, they, they are caught. So naturally they must be first nationalized. Then later we will see one by one. Our demand is all private banks and foreign banks, they must be nationalized. No, no doubt about it. That is in country's interest, that is in people's interest. Thank you, sir. Thank you for giving us your time and we hope to get back to you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Sujana. All the best. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching NewsClick. Please do keep watching us at newsclick.in.